Hey, welcome to the next video in our series on how to create a professional e-commerce site using WordPress, WooCommerce, and the WooStore theme. My name is Adam with UploadWP.com and uh, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to set up the featured slider section right here. Um, we're going to set up three featured slider images that will uh, rotate in this section of the website right here on the home page. Um, the demo site that we're building right now is called WorldCupTees.com <coughs> And uh, what we've done in the last couple of videos, um, we went through the WooCommerce and the WooStore theme settings. Um, we set up our product categories, and then in the last video, we actually went ahead and set up our first couple of products, which if I scroll down right here, you'll see under Featured Products, uh, we have a couple here, and then in total we have four products, uh, demo products set up on the site right now. And uh, so what this site really is all about, it's a niche uh, soccer site really, it's uh, World Cup soccer teams is kind of the angle on the uh, this site, but um, uh, this demonstration will work no matter what type of e-commerce site you're creating with WooCommerce and WordPress. So now that we actually have products out on the site, we can go ahead now and set up our featured uh, rotating images right here on the home page. So let's get started with that right now. Let's go ahead and log into the WordPress admin. And the first thing we're going to want to do is configure the slider, the WooCommerce uh, slider settings. So if we go to Woo Store and then go to Theme Options, once that loads, here we go. We're going to go down to scroll down on the left side uh, right here to slider settings and click on that. All right, so now here we're going to go through the options quickly. We can always come back and adjust the settings after we have some slider uh, slider images live on the site, but uh, I'm going to go through this real quickly just so you get, uh, if I can point out what I think is most important um, on your first pass through. So slider entries, here's where you choose the number of sliders that you actually want, slider images that you actually want to have on the home page. Three is a good number. Um, I recommend having at least three. If you can go more than three, I think that's better. Uh, but we're going to just start with three, and uh, so I'll keep that default setting. The number of slider images, I want three. Um, for the effect, you can choose it to actually slide from left to right, or you can have it fade in and out. Uh, it's just personal preference. I'm going to leave it on slide. Animation speed will control how fast that either slides in or fades out. Point uh, six is a good number to start at. Again, you could always come in here and adjust this to whatever speed you want later. Um, okay, so here this hover pause checkbox uh, is where you can set up the slider to stop if someone were to hover over it. Um, again, personal preference. I don't really think there's a uh, an option that's uh, better or worse in this case. I I keep this unchecked personally, but you can go ahead and check it if you want to. Randomize. Um, that's just going to tell you, that's going to control how the slides go. Do you want them to just randomly rotate or do you want them to rotate in order? I like them rotating in order, so I'm going to leave that unchecked. Auto height would automatically uh, resize the um, <coughs> the featured image slider for you. We're not going to check that in this case because we're going to create ours uh, certain dimensions that fit perfectly. Uh, specifically, I think it's 620 by 320. Um, I'll put that out on my site upload to vp.com the exact dimensions of the image slider but I believe they are 620 by 320 and auto start I do want to check that button because I want the image slider to start right away when somebody hits the site I want it just to start rotating so I'm going to go ahead and check that auto start box and then auto slide interval this is, controls how long in between uh, each slide in seconds so by default it's set to six seconds before it'll slide to the next slide. I like it to set around four. I think four seconds is a good time. Um, but again, that's personal preference to so go ahead and play around with that after you already have some featured uh, image slides out on the site. Um, I like four, but you might like something else. It's just up to you. And then these four checkboxes down here on the bottom, I always just leave those set to default, Let them ch uh, keep them checked for now. And uh, again, if you want to adjust those later after you already have some featured image slides out there then come back and do that then so once you have your basic um, slider settings how you want them go ahead and click on uh, save all changes 
So now we've configured initially um, the slider settings. Next step is actually create our uh, slides. So what I've done is in Photoshop I went ahead and created uh, three featured image slides. Now here's an example of one of them. We're going to go ahead and put those on the site right now. And again the dimensions, let me just double check right now quickly here. I, I know the height's 320 but I believe the width is 620. Yeah. So the dimensions for the image slider that I recommend using are 620 by 320 pixels. Now again I'll put that out on uploadwp.com uh, so be sure to check that out. So let's go ahead and now create our slides. So if we go to slides on the left hand sidebar of the WordPress admin right here and then go ahead and just click slides and I'll show you that since we haven't created any yet obviously we're going to just see an empty page here. No slides found. So we need to go ahead and create our first slide. So click on add new and I've already created these slides again um, in Photoshop uh, so I, yeah, I encourage you to do that before you actually go to set this up create your first two or three slides you're going to need at least two slides for the image slider to, to work it's not going to work with just one so make sure you start out with a minimum of two slides I recommend three as the minimum and if you can go more featured slides I think that really just enhances your site makes it look better um, but in this case uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up um, the slides that I do have and creating these new slides yourself uh, for internal use um, but in this case the first slide we're going to create is called US, USA Socrates and if you want to give it a description it's probably a good idea here because it, it my guess is it's probably good for SEO um, I'm not going to do that in this step, but you probably w would want to just describe what the slide's about, what the, what, what each uh, featured image slide is about. Um, I don't know that it has a positive or negative effect on uh, search engine optimization, but I would guess that it does if you if you actually add some um, some content there. I'm going to skip over that just to keep this video quick. Um, so if we scroll down, all we do is we click on upload right here to go ahead and upload our feature our first uh, featured image so just go ahead and find it on your computer I like to create a slider folder so just go ahead and click on slider images and then there's my USA soccer tees featured image and again I just created these in Photoshop you can create them in any uh, image editing software you might have uh, go ahead and give it alt alternate text USA soccer tees and then scroll down and just click on use this image and there we go and then here's a drop down option for the slider overlay layout so that's if you want to have like text overlay the bottom or the right hand side or the top or the left hand side of the featured slider image so if you wanted to, to let's say that we wanted um, slider overlay layout on the bottom any text that I write right here okay would show up as like an overlay on this featured image right down here and you can choose to have that on the bottom the top the right the left or none um, I usually go with none because if I want text I usually just um, build it into the image um, so I typically go with none for the slider overlay text field here but that's completely up to you so play around with that if you do want text to overlay the it, the text that will show up will be right here that whatever you put in here and then you can choose where you want to position that on uh, the featured image um, so I'm gonna go with none in this case and then slide URL I'm going to want this to go to my USA Soccer t-shirts um, or this specific t-shirt so I'm going to go out to the website and I'm going to go ahead and click on that t-shirt USA Soccer and then I'm going to go ahead and just copy the URL uh, for that shirt so open the browser whoops let me let me refresh the page I accidentally deleted the URL when I tried to copy it there we go so I'm going to go ahead and just copy the URL because that's where I want that slide to go to when people click on that image slide URL image I'm gonna go ahead and just paste that URL in there and that's it 
it's that easy to create a slide go ahead and click publish and our first slide uh, is created so let's go ahead and create our next two slides so let's just uh, go to slides add new and now we're going to create our Italy Socrates uh, slide so I'm just going to call this one Italy Socrates again I encourage you to put some text in here even if you're not going to use the slide overlay it's good probably for SEO to have something there I'm going to skip over it to keep this video short alright so image I'm going to go ahead and upload my image select my file find it on my computer um, there it is Italy Socrates go ahead and upload it and give it alternate text is always a good idea for SEO Italy soccer tees and then I'm going to just scroll down and click use this image okay so there it is um, for slider overlay layout again I don't want to use any type of overlay text on my featured slider images so I'm going to go with none slide URL I want that to go to that actual shirt so I'm just going to go out to the website and find that product and then uh, copy the URL to that product and paste it uh, in that box right there. If you hold on one second here it looks like um, I'm having some problems with my internet. I'm going to pause this video, fix this, I'll be right back. Okay so we're back online now so I'm going to go ahead and click on that Italy uh, soccer shirt that I want to link that uh, featured image too so there we go I want to link it to that product so I'm just going to go ahead copy the URL for that product go back to the add new slide and the slide URL paste that product URL and then go ahead and just publish it and that's it so now I'm going to go ahead and create my la my third uh, featured image slider so just go add new and this one's going to be Brazil and I'm going to link this one to this shirt right here this Brazil soccer shirt okay so this one's going to be called Brazil soccer tees and let's go upload the image Go ahead and find it on your computer. There it is, Brazil Socrates. Upload it. And use this image. There it is. Slide, uh, slider overlay layout. I don't want to use that, so I'm going to go with, whoops, I'm going to go with none and then slide URL let's go find that product out on the site let's go to the product detail page and then just copy the URL and let's go ahead and paste it right here in the slide URL and publish it okay so now I've created three um, featured image slides I've set up the, um, I've configured the slider image settings. So let's go out to the site, let's go to the home page, refresh the page, and hopefully we'll see some featured image slides uh, show up on the site here. <coughs> and there we go. You can see it rotates automatically every four seconds as we set it up. Um, and then if you click on uh, each image, it'll take you to that respective product. So there we go. So it's really very, very easy to set up the um, featured image slider on the home page with uh, the Woo Store theme. Um, I would encourage you after you have your first couple slides set up to go back into the um, slider settings and you know make adjustments based on your preferences and how you want it to look out on the site. Um, uh, the size of the featured slides uh, that I like to use is 620 pixels wide by 320 pixels uh, high. That seems to work the best with this theme. So uh, any other details I can think of that I haven't covered in this tutorial video, 
I will uh, post out on my site, uploadwp.com, so I encourage you to check that out. Um, so thanks for watching this video. Um, in the next video, we'll move on and start uh, configuring the right sidebar widgets over here and customizing these. So it'll start looking more and more like an e-commerce uh, site. My name is Adam with uploadwp.com, and we'll see you in the next video.